Hi, good to see you again. Welcome to installment number three of Dave's Review Blitz. This one is from March 17th, or St. Patrick's Day, in Huntington, New York. Dave shares all of his close personal thoughts and feelings on life, the universe, and everything. And Adrian the Blarney Vasquez shows up with a few special reports. Here we go! Hello, good afternoon. Dave Elvis Rossi. We just got back a couple hours ago from Atlantic City. Um, and now we're heading back out to Huntington, New York. Um, gonna go, just gonna go go hang out. Um, we have unex unexpected guests this time. Um, Adrian and Ann made a, Adrian Storm Vasquez and Ann made a uh, last minute, well they didn't actually know they had tickets to this show. So, so um, surprise, good surprise. But uh, we're going to be seeing them again tonight. Ethan will be there. Uh, Mike Levy will be there. Jeremy. I um, don't know if it will be as much uh, as many people there as there was in Atlantic City. But um, it's a good little theater. We've been there a couple times. Uh, we'll see what happens. Um, I don't know. Bring, bring, I'll come back with a... Uh, I'll try to get another weather report. And I'll come back with a, uh, with, um, a review at, at once the show's over again. Um, I'll see you in Huntington. We now go live to uh, YNN reporter Adrian the Blarney Vasquez with a special holiday report. Top of the modern to ya. <laughs> Even though it's nighttime, it's almost midnight. Um, as you probably guessed, we're standing in this lovely Irish pub. This lovely green lighting, shamrocks, the Irish flag, the whole nine. Obviously, that could only mean it's one holiday, St. Gertrude's Day. St. Gertrude, obviously, being the patron saint of cats. Um, so, you know, find a cat, whether it's your own or a stray or a lion from the zoo. Hug a cat. Um, I'm sure it'll go fine. And uh, if it paws your eye, eyes out, you can come to this bar right here, hey. toss the alcohol in your eyes, or kill the sensation, and it'll be fine. Um, these people all walk through. Good night. <laughs> hey guys, I just wanted to pop in here real quick because I think I just came up with a Blink-182 song. Well, wondering if I will ever be able to do my eye makeup correctly. Maybe someday. Okay, here it goes. These are my questions, where are my answers? Da, da, da. Come on and save me. I'm falling away from you. Come on and save me. Da, 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 da. All of my questions for you. Yay! <laughs> I don't have all the words figured out, if you can tell, but I can hear the drum part. <laughs> uh, thank you. Now back to your regularly scheduled Dave. Regularly. And we now go live to our weather, YNN weather correspondent, Adrian the Blarney Vasquez. It's cold! Also, it's gold! <laughs> Hello, this is Dave Elvis Rossi reporting for YNN. I'm in a mm. uh, in my car in a parking lot in Huntington. Um, everything's fine. We're just we just decided to skip the uh, the bus uh, today. It's it's a little cold out there. We've been running around for a while, um, but I'm going to give my report my uh, review right now. Um, and I guess I'll start off and say you know we kind of when we got home from Atlantic City we kind of had a little uh, a, a a kind of, I say minor emergency, but a good emergency in that when I went to go get my tickets for Huntington, I, instead of two, which was I was expecting, and there were four. Uh, so I kind of said, why did I order four? The only person I would have ordered for was Adrian and Anne and Jackie and myself if I ordered four. Um, so I, 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 a little back and forth between Adrian and I, we found out that he did actually order tickets, and he, even though he wasn't expecting to come, um, he had now had to make last minute plans to come. Fortunately, everything worked out. Adrian and Ann were able to come. Um, so it, it all ended up good news. Uh, 
we were we we uh, headed out uh, towards Huntington. We kind of hit. Sorry, so more supp light. Supplemental lighting. My <laughs> my uh, my, li my special lighting um, special lighting director uh, Jackie here. Okay. Anyway. Um, we uh, or so we we, we uh, hit a little bit. Well, actually, the traffic was was a, was kind of light actually for what I was expecting. Um, I guess being a Saturday afternoon, uh, but you know we hit a little bit of traffic. Uh, probably took us about two hours to get to Huntington. Uh, we arrived. We kind of kind of arrived just in time to kind of get into the VIP party and, and see the the, the Jeopardy. Uh, so. Um, Actually, a really, really good Jeopardy session this time. JW was on point, and and the contestants were actually were actually very knowledgeable. It was a very competitive, um, very competitive competition. Uh, I think the, the 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 favorite, the 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 person I thought was going to pull it away was a woman. Um, and she basically knew everything, but she kept falling to the hazard of buzzing in too early. Uh, which, if you buzz in too early in the game, you lose you lose points. So uh, the the guy who won, though, actually w you know deserving also. Uh, he was very he was knowledgeable on his owl trivia, um, and he actually it was a special day for him because uh, he somehow knew Vanna, the person who was uh, who was Vanna White, and he ended up um, na naming his firstborn son after Vanna White or something like that. But so it was, it was really interesting. It was a touching moment. Um, it was nice that everything worked out for for them. Uh, we we ate some some I guess bar food I'll call it pizza uh, for dinner from the bar inside of the the Paramount. Um, took about it <laughs> took about 15 minutes for them to to come out with the food. Uh, probably could have worked out a little bit better if we got here earlier and had there are a lot of nice restaurants around here. Um, much better setup than Caesars uh, for food. Uh, we just didn't get a chance to take advantage of it this time. Um, let's see what else we do. We go, oh, uh, I met um, met again um, a fan that I had met here in pa at, at Huntington. I think last time we were here, uh, his name's Adam, um, and, and he's uh, he's he's been to a couple of owl shows in this area. Um, we chatted with him for a while. Um, he's kind of tour chased to some other bands, I think Cheap Trick and yeah. and, and uh, a few others. Uh, but but yeah, so so it was kind of nice to get. Uh, it took me a second to recognize him, but after I did, it, it was, I, I definitely recognized him and uh, got a chance to to talk to him. It was nice to, to meet up with him. Um, uh, obviously, Ethan was here, uh, Rosemary, um, and Mike Mike Levy again. Um, Allison. Al oh, well. That's after the show. We'll get to that. But yeah, I'm, I'll mention her now. Allison, of course, uh, I got, haven't seen her in a while. She was here. She texted me during the show and was like, "Hey, I'm here." <laughs> um, so we, we got to chat ch ch with her after the show. Uh, let's see. Um, talked to JW for a little bit. Um, told him he's you know doing a good job with with the Jeopardy stuff. Uh, let's see. Uh, the the concert. Um, oh. Uh, Emo, Emo actually again, again killed it with his set, um, and he was had, had a really good set. The fans, I th and the fans actually gave him a standing ovation, which I think is the first time, or definitely the first time I've seen that happen for Emo. Uh, so, so he, I'm sure he was very happy. He looked very touched on stage, and, and he had a good set. Um, let's see. Uh, okay, so Al, um, my, my set list notes here now. Uh, started out with with Twine Ball, um, stuck in a closet with Vanna White. And then he uh, he did uh, buy me a condo. Um, good enough for now. Midnight Star. After Midnight Star, he had kind of had a little trouble with his accordion, so he, he called what, a roadie solo, where where uh, Hawkeye came out and he introduced Hawkeye and kind of and, and Hawkeye fixed his accordion for him. Um, although he, and he said I'll just do a few songs without accordion to, while Hawkeye fixes that. Uh, so he actually. Um, went into um, went into a truck driving song um, v uh, Velvet Elvis, which was really nice to hear. I don't think I've heard that one before. Uh, and uh, Melanie. Okay. Uh, 
uh, the Steve and Ruben left the screen to skip to their loo, left the stage to skip to their loo, um, while Al performed uh, CNR. Um, and then this part I didn't, this part, it was the second night in a row he did a request song. Um, this was for a person named Amanda, I don't know who the Amanda is he, he was talking about, but um, Amanda had requested One More Minute. Um, so I didn't know re requests were an option. So next time I see Al, I'm gonna put in a request for uh, that boy made da that boy boy could dance. Um, I, I would like to hear that one. Okay. Um, okay. <laughs> and this set was actually interesting because it was really full of like uh, dysfunctional love songs. I don't know if Al planned it that way or just just you know after he picked the songs, it kind of just worked out that way. Um, so, you know, obviously, uh, you know, Melanie and a couple others, but uh, I was only kidding. Um, so, at, at um, this point, he picked back up his accordion. It had been fixed for a while, several songs. Um, and uh, Mr. Popeil, and uh, and then with this one, I love love seeing uh, Jim Jim gets up, holds the microphone up to Al's accordion, and the rest of the band plays along, and, and Mr. Frump, and, and again, that would be a request I would put in, I guess, if, if I had a second request, I would like to see that one at every show. Um, okay, uh, this one, uh, again, he made the, the quip about how uh, this one always ends up on the bottom of the list, but a uh, bottom of all those online lists that he, he uh, for Val songs, but uh, she never told me she was a mime. Um, another dysfunctional love song, although this one's a little bit more, I guess, hard-hitting towards towards the uh, person. I'm so sick of you. Um, he did a little tease again with the whole uh, Hamilton polka, um, but actually played uh, "Why Does This Always Happen to Me." Uh, he was about to do the medley um, and then kicked it off. Uh, Jim was still tuning, so he kicked it off. We got a drum, I mean, a bass solo by Steve. Which I think is the first bass solo I, I've heard on the, the tour. Um, so he also paid, played the bass line to a song called Mellow Yellow. Oh, okay. Well, that, well I did not know that. So, yeah. so, so our trivia uh, master over here, Jackie, uh, says it's from the bass line to Mellow Yellow. <laughs> hey, that's cool. Um, okay. Uh, okay. Our, the cover song um, by, was it Talking Heads? Yep. Talking Heads called um, Psycho Killer. Uh, really, I think that that hit well with the audience. A lot of people were singing along to it. Um, it was well done. Um, I think it was probably a perfect song for Al on the band to do if he wasn't, you know, if he's doing the cover song. So definitely check that one out when the, when the songs get released. Um, and then, of course, he ends with The Saga Begins. Um, after the show, I already mentioned we, we we met up with Allison and and um, got to talk to her for a little while. Uh, again, uh, we didn't hang around long. Security was actually pretty tight here, so um, they kind of got us out of the building fast. I did stop by the merchandise booth though and actually pick up this CD. I don't know if you can see it with the lighting, but Emo Phillips CD. Um, it is on sale at the merchandise booth. Um, he jokes that there's only five left, so this is now I bought one, there's only four left. Uh, so if you want one, make sure to pick one up uh, before they sell out. Uh, I'm going to listen to this on the way home. Uh, I, I don't think I've actually heard, heard I think I've heard one, part, half of this, I don't think I've heard the other half of it. Um, that's it, tomorrow um, we're going to head to Lancaster, Pens Pennsylvania. Um, we come home, we have a day off. Uh, and then we're back in uh, New York City. Bethesda on Tuesday. Oops, I'm sorry, we should, we're skipping days. We're going <laughs> to Bethesda, then we come home and we go to New York City. Um, this is Dave Elvis Rossi signing off. I hope you're enjoying. Actually, I, I did get a, some some comments that, that people are still watching these, still enjoying them, still love it, loving that I'm live tweeting. So I'm going to continue to do it. I hi to all my fans out there. Um, Thank you for watching. This has been a lot of fun for me too. This is really kind of nice. I haven't had a chance to really sit down and write reviews for the past couple tours, so this video is actually working out really well for me. Uh, so thank you for watching. Again, um, thank you for for listening and everything. Uh, this is Dave Elvis Rossi signing off for YNN. Back to you, Alicia.
Thank you for tuning in to this installment of Dave's Review Blitz. If you have Weird Al news or a concert review, you too can be a correspondent for YNN. Contact me and we'll set it up. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, click the bell icon, and patronize the channel so that YouTube will promote us to the world and our community will reign supreme over all. Thanks for watching. anything you don't come in here telling me what note is what